Morning and greetings from Exeter outside St David Station uh, on a grey and chilly November morning. <sighs> yeah, I can see my breath, uh, but I'm about to put some warmth, some sunshine, some excitement into my life uh, as we ride today on a restored part of the railway. It's getting a, a daily commuter service for the first time in 50 years. We'll talk about the Sunday service as well as the line from Exeter out to Oakhampton, the Dartmoor line has reopened. I've come up with an immediate good question. Have they included the Dartmoor Line in Oakhampton in the Devon Ranger slash Rover ticket? Andrew, the ticket member staff officer who recognised me, seems to think you can. Thanks Andrew, give us a wave. Bye, bye. That's Andrew. <laughs> I'm fairly sure last time I was here, the dot matrix boards were like traditional orange ones. They've now got the fancy white on black ones. Uh, props, congratulations by the way to GWR for actually producing like a guide with an actual timetable. You don't have to rely on the PDF, well done. Thank you. But I just bought the Devon Day Ranger, thanks to Andrew, the ticket office that confirmed that it does fall uh, under the scope of a Day Ranger ticket. So I've bought myself a 14 pound Day Ranger ticket just so I can uh, go up and down the line as much as I like. That's the 8.31 off to Paynton. It's saying that the 8.38 to Oakhampton is, uh, oh, it's delayed. I I'm sure it'll be here soon. Calling it Crediton and Oakhampton only. So my friend Rob, who works for GWR, who you remember was in the Red Cup British Steel video, uh, is here as well. Hey, Rob. Actual physical paper timetables are the way forward, they are the future. Let us analyze the service pattern. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trains on Monday to Friday and Saturday, seven on a Sunday, five out of the eight go to Central. Three of them terminate at St. David's and reverse. It's a two hour pattern, so it's between like seven in the morning through to 10 at night. And the plan is, I believe, maybe after the December timetable change or maybe next year, it will step up to an hourly service. That will be awesome, but currently eight trains a day. So everyone's been saying how this, this line was closed due to beaching, but you're saying that's not the case. Yeah, it's a common misconception. So the 1960 or whenever it was the report from Dr. Beeching actually kept Oakhampton open, uh, but it did propose the closure of the lines to Bude, Launceston, Plymouth fire at Campton, uh, and so on, uh, and that basically left Oak, uh, the Oakhampton uh, line on a bit of a stub from uh, from Exeter St David's. Because from '97 onwards, uh, Devon County Council funded a summer Sunday service only. So you may remember uh, in 2017, all the stations we visited this line when Sanford Courtney was open. It's not now an Oakhampton. GWR ran a summer Sunday service only. So it used to run one out of seven days during the summer, and now it's back to a seven day a week service. But yes, it's a return after 50 years of a regular daily service. And in case you were thinking, where's the map, Jeff? Here it is with the Dartmoor line branching off from the Tarka line at Yeoford and it heads west to Oakhampton. Sanford Courtney is now officially closed, but there is a proposal in an advanced stage to build a new station along the line called Oakhampton Parkway, which will have a large car park to really encourage people to get the train to Exeter and not drive. Uh, quick stop at Crediton. Hello Crediton. Crediton benefits from having this uh, additional service as well and when the Oakhampton branch goes hourly, uh, Crediton will then I think get a half hourly service so it's good news for the people of Crediton as well. I'm also looking at my Adelstrop disused, abandoned map, which shows that actually there's an old station called Bow and an old station called North Torton along here, uh, both very disused and abandoned, along now with Sanford Courtney, which was served by the Summer Sunday service, but no more. It is just Oakhampton uh, after Crediton. Although I did know on the timetable that Newton St. Sires, uh, which is a, re a request stop all, all the time, does get the occasional service occasional, like one or two a day, the GWR schedulers in their wisdom, hi, whoever you are, decided to give Newton St. Sires a couple of extra bonus stops. I, I don't know why, I'm sure the residents of Newton St. Sires are very pleased about that. 
That's the branch going up to Barnstable. It was indeed. Yep. Tarkaline. Normally on video we just look at things, YouTube, tune in your ears, can you hear? Yes, you can hear the diesel, but what you can't hear is clackety clack, the clackety clack. It's smooth. This is what Network Rail, Rob, Southwest have done. They've laid continuous welded rail along this whole section, so it's now a smoother, quieter ride. There's no clackety clack. There's the platform. Oh, and there's people waiting. Oh, there's quite a lot of people waiting. Oh, that's busy. That's really busy. Oh, that's great. Loads of passengers. Oh, that's great to see. That's a lot of people. That's maybe 40, 50 people. That's a, a healthy number of passengers. GWR will be pleased to see that. I'm over on platform two slash one. The operational trains come in on platform three. You can see the tracks are different. Now, uh, 2017, all the stations down there, you were able to get a heritage line, the Dartmoor Railway out three miles to Melbourne Viaduct. Sadly, in the interim period, that is no longer running, that is no longer a thing. But over here, uh, the Dartmoor Railway Association uh, still exists, is still a thing, and there's a museum and a gentleman called Ron that's gonna uh, show me around and chat to me. What we got? This is one, of our, one part of our museum we have for the Dartmoor Railway Association going back many years. Um, the barrels and things like that normally go out on weekends when we're here. We still got the original fireplace from many, many years ago. So you're here on Wednesdays doing admin, but generally you say you're open at a weekend. So if people want to visit the museum, weekends is the time? That is correct, yeah. And if we're here on a Wednesday, we're more than happy to open it up for visitors. And you've also got your shop area with all your books and stuff. We've got the shop down there, which is most of it's donated to us. And we sell on for a little profit to help us run the Dartmoor Railway Association. Okay, awkward question, put you on the spot. Will the old line to Meldon ever be reinstated, do we think? What's the situation there? Fingers crossed. We are hoping we, we will be able to run a heritage railway in a few years' time, okay. from here to Melbourne. Where are we going? It is part of a museum, but at the present it's used as a storage area. Oh. There's a nice model there of the Melbourne Viaduct. Oh, I see, right. I didn't bring my drone today, so I'm just going to hover my camera like this. Imagine my camera's now, now a drone, just like impressively getting an aerial, an aerial shot of the Melbourne Viaduct like that. It's almost the same, isn't it? Ron, what's happening with the signal box? We are hoping that we could get a license to use it and hopefully turn it into either a museum or a model railway in there. Okay. And the track here, so it does carry on towards Meldon Quarry. The track on the right hand side still goes up to Meldon Quarry and it goes to Meldon Halt and to the, the viaduct. But the trains at present only run up as far as here, Oakhampton. And this is the old abandoned platform one where you were saying the Bude trains used to be. Many, many years many ago, years ago. used to come to this platform to get the train to Bude. Wow. And just out this side, my feet uh, standing on some old rails. To the side of Oakhampton Station, there was a marshalling yard, a goods yard, and the Youth Hostel Association building is the old goods shed. So this would have been all railway back in the day. But uh, I like the fact that there's some uh, old rails down here. So Rob and I have just been into town, which is a 10 minute walk that way, just to grab a cuppa, because it's me, I've got to grab a cuppa. Uh, there is a new bars and arrow symbol. All the signage is new, but Oakhampton officially got its bars and arrow symbol. Uh, there's also a 118 bus here, which is now, uh, has been rerouted uh, to come up here to serve the station, and it's just turned up. Uh, and it's been timed to integrate nicely uh, with, uh, with the times of the trains, which is nice to see. And there's also here uh, some new ramps uh, for step-free access into the station. Uh, and there's manual boarding ramps, not on the platforms, not on the stations, but on board the train. So that does allow for level boarding. A 
Okay, so we've got the 11.25 out of uh, Oakhampton. It's gonna stop at Crediton. It's a little bit of stand time, and then, just because I fancy having a bit of uh, jiggery-pokery fun with the request stop at Newton St. Sires, where one train a day in this direction from Oakhampton stops at Newton St. Sires. We're gonna get the bus to Newton St. Sires and pick up the Oakhampton train at Newton as a request. So we're at Crediton, two platforms here. When they uh, put the hourly service in, which I believe is going to be spring next year, this will be the passing point. At the moment, just one train going up and down. The hourly service will require two trains. The doors are closing and Rob's off. Wait, bye, Rob. Bye, Rob. Thanks, Rob. Bye, Rob. <laughs> That's Rob. So, got the train to Crediton, uh, had a cup of tea there obviously, then got the bus, uh, number five, down to Newton St. Sires. I've walked along here. As I left Rob at Crediton, by the way, he said that if he could only ever go in one more pub in the rest of his life, it would be the one behind me over there. It's called the Beer Engine. Uh, it's an amazing place. Uh, the landlord just saw me, Will. Hello, Will. And he just gave me a quick look around. They brew it on site. Apparently, he's also telling me that the Network Rail Southwest, Western Division, that have done all the work, the engineering work, to upgrade the Dartmoor line are having their kind of like a sort of end of project celebratory party in there this Thursday coming up in a couple of days time uh, so have fun there it's a really popular place apparently it was already popular um, when you could stop here on the Barnstable line and now you've got the additional couple one in one direction two in the other less on a Sunday check timetable for details um, extra additional request stops of the Oakhampton train stopping here as well it's 1331 uh, there should be a 1354 stopping heading back to Exeter and that will be the end of my day and I get to tick off Newton's and Sires on my request stop quest. There's a really old sign. First Great Western logo and also GWR. I need to upchange this to say Barnstable and Oakhampton. Thanks. I've met two other people. We're going to stick our arms out at the same time. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. Yay! Request stop. <laughs> Thank you. Fail look. And there we go, back to Exeter St. David Station that wraps up my trip for today, including a little cheeky request stop. There is a website for the Dartmoor Line, dartmoorline.com, uh, designed by the Devon and Cornwall Railway Partnership. Hello to those guys, you should check out their website. Link's all down below in the description. That is it, there are daily, regular trains, a two hour service going to an hour as of next year back uh, out through Dartmoor to Oakhampton uh, from Exeter. Come ride Britain's newest line and newest daily station.